I've been doing a lot of running recently. I am training for a marathon which is later in the year and so I'm covering a lot of ground each week and that uses a lot of energy. As a result of that, I'm needing to eat a lot more than usual and lately I'm really stepping up my training so I need to be eating a lot more food. So I've been eating a lot more carbohydrates. My meals have been quite rich in carbohydrates as well as having lots of dried fruit and nuts for snacks and things and I've been doing a good job. I've not been hungry but I have noticed that something changed for a little while. When I first changed my diet to include a lot more carbohydrate rich foods, I noticed something. Now, this is a serious channel and we're going to make a serious video today. So I'm going to send jokes out of the room. So jokes, you need to head out. Me, but you barely make any jokes as it is. I thought this was gonna be a funny video. There's some funny things in it. Out, this is a serious video and we're not making any jokes, okay? I'll see you later then. When I changed my diet up, I noticed that I was getting quite gassy and it wasn't very pleasant for myself or the people around me. After a couple of weeks, things returned to normal, but it got me thinking, why do we fart? Why do farts smell and why do they make sound? Are farts ever a cause for concern? And in this video, we're gonna be talking about those things and also that we are not alone. First, why do we fart? Well, when we eat, we occasionally swallow air. Now, some of that air gets burped back up, some of it gets absorbed by our bodies, but other times it gets all the way into our intestines and it needs to go somewhere. But more often than not, it's that when we eat, we swallow food, obviously. And when we swallow that food, it gets digested by our bodies, but it also gets consumed by the bacteria living in our guts. You aren't the only organism within your body. This is a video for another time, but you are a host to a whole microcosm of activity within your body. It's pretty weird when you think about it, but your guts are full of bacteria and they're actually really helpful. They help us to survive, they help us to digest food and they keep us healthy. It's really important that we have them. And these bacteria live off the food that we also eat, helping us to digest it. But in doing so, they often ferment it. As bacteria are living things, and as a result of the fermentation process and all the different chemical reactions that are occurring down there, gas is produced as a waste product. This gas is called flatus. And it's really important that we get rid of this flatus. We don't want to have big pockets of air sitting in our digestive tract. If it continues to expand, well, we could have some problems. But fortunately for us, we have a small exit point that it's very close to our intestines where it can escape from. When the air is expelled from within us, that is called flatulence. And it happens to all of us. This flatulence is also commonly known as a fart. Some foods are more suitable for being fermented and will therefore cause more gas to be produced. This is why when you eat particular foods, you might notice that you're a bit more farty than usual. Get out, I told you we're not making any jokes. And in fact, not everyone gets gassy after eating beans. Everybody's digestive system is different. The bacteria culture in there, it's all a little bit different and will respond differently to different foods. Fine. But why do farts smell? Well, typically, flatus or the gas that makes up a fart is made up of over 99% odorless gas. It's actually fairly similar to the air that we breathe, made up largely of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and methane. And hydrogen and methane are flammable gases, but generally speaking, we're not getting enough concentrations of it in our farts to cause any problems. But it's the remaining less than 1% of the flattest gas that contains the smelly compounds. Now, the rest of it, so less than 1%, our understanding at the moment is that it's made up largely of sulfur compounds. This comes in several different chemical forms, but sulfur is one of the ingredients of many of these. Sulfur is the chemical that gives rotten eggs their rotten egg smell. This isn't dangerous. 
Lots of foods contain sulfur and it's important that they do because it's a mineral that our bodies need to perform a number of different functions. But when foods that contain sulfur get to our intestines and they begin fermenting, sulfur compounds are something that is released by the bacteria and that fermentation process. And lots of foods contain sulfur. Meats, fish, dairy, eggs, fruit, seeds, nuts, they all contain sulfur. So our farts are going to smell. And often when you adjust your diet, if you're changing it up or you're adding something, your body isn't used to that particular food and you might notice a fluctuation of flatus. And it might smell more or differently. And that's fairly normal. So when I changed my diet to increase what I was eating and to be eating more of certain food groups which were high in energy like legumes, nuts, seeds, dried fruit. It was a recipe for giving my digestive system a little bit of a shock and the bacteria a bit of a fermentation party. But after a couple of weeks, my body adjusted to it and things returned to normal. So that answers my question of why I got more gassy when I introduced new foods to my diet. But why do farts make a sound? As I covered in my video where I discussed why your voice sounds different in a recording, sound is caused by vibrations. And when air or gas escapes from a small opening, often the tissue around it will vibrate. That's how our voices work and it's also why farts make a sound. It's why when you blow a raspberry, it kind of makes a fart sound because it's actually a, a fairly similar process. The gas is making the surrounding tissue vibrate, which in turn makes a sound. Jokes? No! Generally, farts are a normal part of life and occasionally eating certain foods will cause the frequency of the flatulence to increase. And that's pretty normal, but if you are ever concerned about your farts, whether it be they're smelling a certain way or you're at an increased frequency, do visit your GP and have a consultation with them because sometimes difference in farts can be an indication that there might be something medically wrong. Unusual fart behavior could be an indication of anything from lactose intolerance to Crohn's disease to colon cancer. So if you're worried, it's worth having a chat with your GP. For most of us, farts are a normal part of life. They're just a side effect of being alive and eating food. And I think it's really interesting that we have a whole bunch of bacteria in our guts which are helping us to digest our food but as a result of that they produce gas which needs to go somewhere and going somewhere comes in the form of a fart. They are actually really important and have a great symbiotic relationship with us. They do us a huge favour by helping us to digest our food and in return they just ask that we keep eating. They may be smelly and they might cause some sounds but ultimately it's an indication that something's going on down there that is interesting, I think. Jokes, would you like to come back into the room for a moment? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I suppose they make a funny sound as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something a little bit sillier than normal, but still, our bodies are doing lots of interesting things and I love to explore exactly what's going on. As I say on this channel often, the whole world is really interesting and it gets more interesting the closer you look at certain things. So thank you for joining me for this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below and with that like button and make sure you're subscribed to That's Pretty Cool for more interesting videos where I explore different things which fill me with wonder and I hope fill you with a sense of wonder as well. Thanks once again for watching, take care, stay curious and I will see you next time. Sound is caused by blah. Sound is caused by Sound is caused by... Gosh. That was silly. Okay, see how that works.